Alexander Kinyua, a 21-year-old electrical engineering student, was arrested after his younger brother Jared Kinyua discovered a human head and hands in two metal tins on top of the washing machine in the family home. The younger sibling alerted the father who, on going to check, found Alexander clearing away the two tins. The father then called the police and on being arrested, the 21-year-old admitted to murdering his roommate Kujo Bonsafo Age Kodi, who was reported missing last Friday. Kenya also confessed to eating his roommate's entire heart and parts of his brains before disposing the remains in a nearby church. He has had a troubled past and was expelled from the Morgan State University after he assaulted a fellow student with a baseball bat. He was charged with the first degree of murder. In yet another horrifying incident, police in Ottawa are looking for a Canadian man, Luca Rocco Magnotta, wanted in connection with a three-step crime, a killing and a dismemberment of a man. Luca, who is gay, took a video of the murder he committed and posted it on the internet where it is easily available on a site that specializes on horrifying videos. He previously attracted media attention by feeding a kitten to a python and was at one time in a relationship with a serial killer. Luca, who uses several false names, is currently on the run and is thought to be in Europe. Earlier in the week, in North Miami Beach, Rudy Eugene, a 31-year-old homeless man, chewed another homeless man's face in the downtown city of Ottawa. He is believed to have damaged the face of the victim up to 80% as he swallowed the pieces of the man's face. He was shot dead by police after defying several orders to stop. The police, however, suspect that he might have been on a high drug known as bait salts, causing him to go completely insane and become very violent. For News at 8, I'm Rhoda Odiambo.